In this paper, we present a new system to capture high-quality light field. We first propose a new device, the programmable aperture camera, to capture the high-resolution light field. Imagine that if the aperture of the camera becomes a controllable element where we can specify which region is to be opened during exposure. The resulting image will be a subset of the light field. In the next exposure, we change the shape of the aperture to open up another region so that we can capture another subset of the light field. By sequentially changing the aperture shape, we can capture the light field and retain as high a spatial resolution as that of the normal image. Because in each exposure only a small portion of the aperture is open, the resulting image may be noisy unless we increase the exposure time. We overcome this problem by introducing the multiplexing technique. Specifically, in each exposure, multiple samples are aggregated and then captured by opening many regions on the aperture. The individual samples are later obtained by demultiplexing. Let's see an example. These are nine light field images captured without multiplexing. And these are nine multiplex images. The shutter speed is the same as that in the straightforward acquisition. From these nine multiplex images, we can obtain the light field images by demultiplexing. This is the light field image using straightforward acquisition. And this is the light field image obtained from multiplexing acquisition. This is a side-by-side -side comparison. We can see the demultiplex images is much more clear and smooth. We implement two different prototypes of the programmable aperture camera. Both are easy and inexpensive to manufacture. We use a conventional Nikon D70 as the basic camera module and insert the designed programmable aperture into it. In the first prototype, the programmable aperture is implemented with a slit of opaque paper. The patterns are cut manually and selected by rolling the paper. The second prototype uses a liquid crystal ray as the programmable aperture. We manufacture a liquid crystal ray that provides two different angular resolutions, 5x5 and 7x7. The liquid crystal ray is controlled by a MCU control circuit. Using the prototype, we can efficiently obtain high-quality light field images by multiplexing and use it to directly generate various effects. In the first sequence, the scene contains a transparent object in front of a uniform background. Without estimating the scene geometry, we can easily perform digital refocusing from the captured light field. In the second sequence, the scene contains various optical effects and is difficult to model. But because our technique does not impose any restriction on the scene geometry, by using the captured light field, we can directly change the viewpoint, the in-focus plane, and the depth of field. The captured light field has a very high spatial resolution, however, it has defects similar to those captured by existing light field cameras. The first problem is the photometric distortion unique to the light field. It is an obstacle to further applications, such as depth estimation. This is an example. As we can see, the images of a scene point from different viewpoints are inconsistent. Here, we propose a photometric calibration algorithm that directly estimates the distortion from the captured light field and then removes it. The key idea is that since the center view is close to a normal image captured with a small aperture setting, it has negligible distortion and can be used as the reference image to calibrate others. The captured light field may contain aliasing due to undersampling. To remove aliasing, we propose a multi-view depth estimation algorithm to generate view-dependent depth maps for view interpolation. Inspired by the symmetric stereo matching algorithm, we simultaneously estimate the depth map of each image and the occlusion map of the image pair. For more details of the algorithms, please see the paper. The finally obtained light field has high spatial and high angular resolutions and is free of distortion. Let's see a result of the post-processing algorithms. This is a depth map estimated without photometric calibration. We can see because the intensities of a scene point are inconsistent in different images, the result is frustrating. This is a depth map obtained after performing the proposed photometric calibration, but occlusion is not taken into consideration. And this is a depth map obtained from the proposed algorithm. We can see the improvement around the depth discontinuities. This is a refocusing result from the light field of a 4x4 angular resolution. It looks promising, but due to undersampling, we can still see the ghosting effect in the out-of-focus regions. We use the estimated depth map to boost the angular resolution to 25x25 and then perform refocusing. We can see the ghosting effect is greatly reduced. In the following, we we'll demonstrate more results. First, we show how we use refocusing to change the in-focus plane. This is the second sequence. Next, we show how we use refocusing to change the depth of field. Finally, we show the result of view interpolation. Again, we first show the result generated without photometric calibration and depth estimation. We can see the brightness of the scene changes with the viewpoint and a serious ghosting effect. This is the result generated from the processed light field. The distortions and aliasing are removed. 